Right, we all know we have problems with the E3 flasher with these. Because they're a nightmare, a fucking nightmare. Because you can't actually put pressure onto them because they're no chips underneath. Why, with the Slims you can get a little G-clamp, right? Finally got it working. It's the most cheapest fix you'll ever do. I'm going to show you. But it's going to be one-handed, right? So, I'll just get this back together, uh, uh, stripped down, and I'll show you. Right, all I've done is, there's a reason why I keep pausing it, because I've got, I'm only one-handed at the moment, because I've got, I've got the camera in the other hand. Right, so we'll just take these clamps off. It's the best way to put it there, actually, because sometimes you, people put it in the back, but there is a ground wire on that, and you can easily rip it. If you wonder why it looks like there's sellotape around my ribbon, it's because if you use an E3 flasher for a long time, they get brittle and they snap like paper. Needs a good clean. I've been, look at the state of this, I've been trying to do this for road <laughs> lots of days and people are saying put sponge on. Yeah, and I'm going to show you what sponge. And it works. I haven't actually patched this yet, so we'll be doing it now. I've still got the USB in the computer like. I've just took a successful dump, that's why I decided to. Uh, that's why I decided to video. So, what is underneath here? Let's have a look. And it is, you're not going to believe this. It is magic sponge, magic eraser. You get it from the pound shop. It Listen, it is fantastic and it rips dead easy. And then all you do is you just get some double-sided sticky tape. What I'll do is I'll do one and I'll, and I'll show you because I can't do it one-handed. Right, so basically what I've done is I just cut a block just a bit bigger than that. I did use one but it didn't it didn't actually work. So you need two because you need a lot of pressure on these. The main reason is it's not because of the notch, it's because the um, the chips or the resistors or whatever they are right next to it. So it doesn't, and don't ever, ever sand your E3 flasher down because it's a clip and it's the reason why it's got them delves in because it will not clip anymore believe me I've ruined them so you simply just this is a bad example because it's absolutely rubbish cut but you just stick it on double sided peel it off and just it might because this is really good stuff the sticky double sided sticky it might pull the um the bit of rubber on the back of your E3 flasher but it's not a problem it's, because you don't really need it's just for when you're pressing it down. So, what we'll do is we'll just peel this back, if I can get you a little bugger. Ugh, I'll just pause it. <laughs> right, we are back. I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm pausing it just so I can do one and It's not to change the PS3 over or anything like that. So, all I do is you just stick that in there. People think, wow, look how thick that is. Yeah, but look how thin it squashes. So, we'll just simply put this back together. Which I'm going to need two hands, I think. So, <laughs> we'll just be very careful when you're doing this. Look, still under there, look. Boundy, boundy. Just straighten it up a bit. That's it. And then I need my other hand, so I'm just going to put this back on top of there. I need to go clean that. <laughs> and I'll be back. Right, we are back. It's the same PS3, E3 flash here. Any aid is fuck off. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it on. And then wait for a minute. We've got them lights. That's a good start. So they were doing this live anyway. So if there's a problem, it's because I've done it one-handed. Right, give it a minute. Because the PlayStation, when it starts up, it uses the notch chip. And you can't have two things using it. So let's have a go. Come on, don't make me look like a fool. This is the first time doing it, and it works. Come on, just wait for that first light. If you get the first or the second light flashing really quick, it's because your SD card it either can't read it or can't write it. Believe me, when you're putting your SD card in there, you don't realise, but you're bending it. Oh, first light, good. You're bending it. Um, the best program to use is I use I use PS Dump Tool, um, and I also use two seconds. Which one is it? I can't, it's Dump Checker. That one. 
because Dumb Checker checks everything, and if there's a problem, if it says one out of 140 checks, I generally, I'll just move that one because that's an old one. That one. I generally put it in here, and it, it believe it or not, it does patch it. It sometimes removes all the checks. So it says passes, so we'll just load both of these up so you know it's live and I'm not going to skip it or anything. Right, there it is. <clears throat> We're getting there. I hope this helps you out. I hope, I hope this helps you out. Because it's helped me out a lot. It's took me days to find this out. Don't pay hundreds, uh, seven ninety nine for sponges. Right, there we go. See the flashing backwards and forwards? Oh, yep. So we'll take the, gently take this out because I've already pulled the door off. We'll put it in. Sorry about the mess. Oh, I do these every day. Right. Are you ready? Might say one out of a hundred checks failed. There we go. Would you like to patch this image? Yes. And that is done live. No word of a lie. Let's patch. There's the patched one. The lowest downgrade is 2.3. So we'll delete that one. Rename the patched. You, you can take two or three backups, but I, I generally don't. It's, it's It might say, oh, well, you don't take three backups. You have to take three backups. I don't, because what I do is I keep that one and duplicate it. Because, so that's in there now. Put it back in. It's going to be very hard one-handed. If you've got an E3 flasher yourself, you know it's hard doing it one hand. All right, so we're in. We'll flip all the switches down and we'll press go. So, I'll record it. I'll bet yet it's going to take a long time. So I'll pause it and when I get my first light, we'll come back to it. Why does he keep putting the bloody light on? We've got the first one. Which is a good sign, because normally by now we've uh, 1, 5 and 6 is flashing. If you do get the 1, 5 and 6, just try and re reattach the E3 um, not clip again don't expect this to work first time you've got to try and try again it's just different positions always remember always remember to clean the contacts on the chip I use um, just cotton wipes these cotton wipes from the pound shop um, with acetone and it works perfect it, oh we got the second light woohoo um, it works brilliant you need to do this you need to clean it Otherwise, you're not making good contact. It has to be squeaky clean. And don't press it. Don't press it down too hard. Right, so we'll just... I don't want to keep you do the recording too long, but I'll keep them here if you want. All the haters who say I switch the PS3s and whatnot. So, Woohoo! Right, so I'll get back to you when it's at the end, flashing. Thanks very much for watching the video. We are done. So, this is what I do. I'll put it in there. Right? We'll load it back up. Just watching a bit of Frank Sinatra. Right? And we'll check the patch. Not many people tell you to do this. So, we've got to delete everything off. Because it's now worse than thinking it's took the patch. Right? And putting your X, uh, PS3 back together, and it fucking hasn't. So, this is a bloody nightmare doing this one. And this is the only downside of this bloody P uh, the flasher. Right, run back up, go. Always look after your E3 flasher as well. It's only paper, paper back edition. This one is. So yeah, it all done with a magic eraser sponge. From the pound shop, ninety nine pence, and you can see it live. It's worked. Maybe I had to, I had to keep it pausing it, pausing it because you can't do things one handed. <laughs> so I'm not going to pause it. I'm just going to show you. There's one. I'm just going to load my screen up. <laughs> so no, fucking hate this place because all I'm doing is trying to help you out. At the end of the day. <laughs> This was a one I had problem with for ages. I had things flashing or I had one out of 100, 140 checks or it would be 
uh, it'll just come down and red all bad so then this works fantastic sorry about the crappy video but I've only video on my phone right I, kind of, I can't turn my light off as well <laughs> when we start flashing should be very short we're on the last one now we are done so I'll show you and this is an M in a I think it's an M. Oh, come on, focus your twat. Right, so we'll just drag that. Load this. Did you read these terms and conditions? No, but I did. Right, I'll say here, yeah, pre patched, yes. And this is J, okay, date code 8C. So, there you go, there's the proof. There's the proof. A magic eraser sponge. It has to be quite hard, like quite. If you just do this, it shouldn't go anywhere. It has to be like ugh, quite hard. Fantastic. I hope this helps you out, and please leave a comment.